This is the ICOM 730. I want to show you the, how the dial, you can calibrate it, a little bit understand how it works. Normally this isn't very important, but it's just where the thumb hole goes vertical on here, you can make this read to where it reads zero. And what you do is put this on, say, 100 hertz, rotate this around. So the dial says zero. Hit lock. Turn it back. Unlock it. And now, when this is vertical, it'll read zero. Now, what's interesting about this, let me just go through here and put it on where it reads 3.8 megahertz. Okay. Now, one rev of this is a hundred different of these steps. So, if that's 3.8 megahertz, 3,800 kilohertz, one rev of this, there's the 39. So, you want 100 kilohertz, 100 steps. Now, if I went ahead and change this to 100 hertz, the readout is going to jump by hundreds, but this is going to change 10 kilohertz. I put this to 10, how much is it going to change? It change 100 times that. There you go. You got 1 kilohertz. So you got 100 steps times per rev times that increment. So if I put this on here, go back, there it is, 3,900. Put this on his here. Let's say I'm mobile. Want to do one rev? It's roughly about a hundred steps. And don't quote me on that. I just was just going through here. Maybe it's 102, whatever. But just for using this on mobile, sometimes I like to go through and just kind of have a feel for where I am, just visually by feel. But having to look to dial and wreck the car. If I set this on here, lock it, put this on vertical, turn this one rev this way. Let's say I'm at 3800. And I unlock this. And somebody says they're uh, 3750. Like that. 37.25 so you can use the dial just like without even looking at this and kind of get a feel for where you are there's 3800 that'd be 38.50 roughly 39 so I might start off using this at 3800 here and just make sure it's locked in leave on one kilohertz steps and then kind of kind of know where I am just by feel and then I'll go off and glance at the dial you know if I want to do a CQ to make sure I'm not off band but it's a kind of a neat way to kind of know where you're at so that's the purpose of this video on this 7300 I really didn't even know this uh, you know I just kind of assumed this was random and I was reading in the manual here tuning control knob about how to uh, calibration and I didn't realize that the lock knob on here was how you set that I hadn't even really thought about it but that's kinda how it sort of works it's a kind of a neat rig and it's kinda simple I kinda like sometimes like something like this where the knobology is kinda simple and dumb it does have a power output here you can change for the RF power so if you're tuning up and want to get the SWR use your own SWR meter it does have SWR in here you've got to go through and change the um, one of the settings on here if you want to use it internal knobs if you want to use SWR you can set the dial to be um, SWR ALC RF a bunch of different things but it's kind of a neat rig in the sense that you don't, you're not going to normally touch something and go way off band. I can know that I'm on 80 meters, 
40 meters, 30, 20, just by the knob and not get all screwed up. So it's kind of a classical radial. I've never had any problem with the encoder on this. On the ICOM 735s I've owned, I've had them where the encoder's gotten screwed up after a while, but I've never had a 730 that's had that problem. So I don't know if I've just been lucky or it's just a better encoder design. That's kind of it. Got a little bit of wind here. 